Hey dear 6th graders, how are you guys? Everything fine? I hope so. Let's go here guys. Uh, our last class talking about the volume and how we can find it. As I told you, what is a volume? Volume is the amount of space that a three-dimensional figure takes up. Great? And the volume of a prison, guys, it's easy, easy, easy. The volume of a prison is the product of the area of the base, the base area and the height. Okay, we have the base area here and the height. We multiply these numbers and we got our volume. <clears throat> An easy way to figure out the special rectangular prison, it is the length times the width times the height. We have the three dimension, length, length over here, width, and the height, okay? We have this three dimension, I think it's better with like that, you can see here in camera, okay? Length, width, and the height. Great, I think you understand these steps, guys, and it's very easy to find the volume, just multiply. Like here, you can see in the video, I'll have here the volume of this figure, number one, it is the length, width, and height. We multiply together, 7 times 15 times 12, which is 1260. Just multiply. And here the same idea, number two, we have the length, the length over here, 29. The width, 8, and the height, 3. 3 times 8 times 29. Doesn't matter the order, okay, guys? As you know, the order of the factors don't change the product. Doesn't matter. The order is the factors. 3 times 8, 24. And after 24 times 29, we solve over here 69, 60, 696. Number 3, as you know, the same thing. But here we have the length 9, the width of 13.5 round decimals, and the height 4.8. Just multiply, guys. Remember, we learned already this, how to multiply decimals. Number four, the same thing. We have here the volume, 2.6, the width, oh, sorry, the length, 2.6, uh, width, 5, and the height, 17.5. Multiplying together. Very easy, guys. And here, multiplying using the fractions. Great, just to multiply, remember, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. A number six over here, guys. What do we have here, mister? In number six, we have a, a mixed number. Remember to convert it in proper fraction. The whole number times the denominator plus the denominator and dividing by the denominator already. Great, it's very easy. Guys, one important information here, don't forget never to put the unit, like here, yards cubic. Remember, it's very, very, very important, don't forget it. Great, guys, we have two word problems here, the same thing, but finding the uh, dimension, like here, number eight. If the volume of the prison below it is 80, uh, 855 cubic feet, find the W, mm, okay, oops. Guys, find the W here. How we can find the W then, mister? Do we have a way, specific way to do? Anything important we have, we are supposed to do here? I will type over here, guys, just for you to understand. Let me insert, text. Great, here, guys, as you notice, how do we figure out this information? How do we can add uh, all information in here? First, what you need to do, let's figure out, guys, in this information here, if the volume of the prism below, it is the volume, it is equals to 855. Great, we know this information already. Cubic feet, okay, Fd cubic. And the formula is base times height divided by two. The volume I know, base, oh, sorry, no, sorry, this one I told you is the triangle. The volume formula, it is base times, for real is length times width times height. Do I have our information? Yes. If you notice here, the volume, 85.5, the length, the length here is 20. The width, I don't have it, it's W. 
Uh, and the height 4.5 4.5 great let's right now multiply what you have here number times number number 20 times 4.5 it is 90 85.5 equals 90 w and where is the variable right what is the math operation tied to the variable Let's multiply 90. The opposite, dividing 90. Let's divide by 90 here. It will be 855 divided by 90 equals W. Great. If you solve this one, you are keeping the fraction. Divided by 5, divided by uh, uh, the other thing here. Let me just check here. A calculator. Great. 855 divided by 90 which is 9.5 w equals w equals 9.5 what feet i talk about measure great do you understand this one i hope so if you have any question guys let me know i'm just here to help you and guide you great see you next class bye bye